in your assessment of what just happened? Uh, you know, um, it's just you know, uh, hard fought man in duel. You know, with two teams, lot, lot, lot on the line as far as pride. You know, and um, you know, we came up on the short end. Um, not much more to say than that. I thought the kids wrestled well. Um, we got some things we need to improve on. But overall, I thought, you know, our, our effort here in, in early February was good, you know. And um, we're not done. Um, you know, and I think uh, we use this uh, as a motivator of what the goal is, you know. And anytime you had opportunity to uh, wrestle in a duel like this, this kind of environment um, against a quality team, Right, uh, you find out what you need to work on, and um, it just puts a little bit bigger edge uh, on, on it. And, and uh, we're coming, we're not done. We got a couple guys out of the lineup, yeah, that are really, really good. Yeah. How do you get them back in the fold and make your push for the national championship? Um, you know, uh, both guys have been you know working with us you know just some unfortunate situations with them with um, some illness you know um, that um, that unfortunate timing really you know I'm sure that if we had to uh, if this was the qualifier for instance you know they would have gone um, but you know it's not in that into risking uh, anything else against them and um, you know we decided to not wrestle them and um, you know, uh, get them healthy and ready, confidence-wise, for the end here. So, um, but they're still around. They're still here. You feel like you improved since losing to Warburg at National Duels? Yeah, yeah. You know, I thought um, overall the team effort and the fight was good. Um, I thought we proved on that a, a lot of attacks, especially the young guys. You know, I mean, I look at Tyler Kinn, Moses Madimba. What opportunities for him? You know, Justin Stoffiger. Um, guys that um, as freshmen in there, you know, and having an opportunity like they got tonight in a duel, right, in, in, in what they've done, I, I'm not sure they would have been able to handle it even a month ago, right? But being in the room with those, the guys that they're in the room, with, like Lucas and Victor and, and um, you know, Lance and all that stuff, it's like, yeah, you know, he was, he was ready. He was ready to see what he had. Do you think the noise and the atmosphere gets to the guys at all? I know you don't want uh, it to, but does it a little bit? You know, I think each person's different. I think, um, you know, some people it might rattle. I think some people, like, I, you know, like a Tanner Bass, for instance, he thrives off of it. He just turns it up a little bit more um, to quiet it down, you know. So, I, you know, it depends on the individual. 133 was a really a crucial match there. Victor Gleba yeah. did look good. Gave up that throw in the beginning. Yeah. What kind of positional things do you have to do to turn that around? You know, that's not a position that that, that Victor is usually in, right? And, and the fact that when he came, you know, and got that underhook and took it over all the way across, right? Um, you know, just stay out of position. Stay, stay in positions that you that you're good at, right? Um, keep your head on them and uh, moving your feet. Right, uh, he's a very explosive, strong kid, and, and um, yeah, he got there first. And, um, but Victor did a hell of a job coming back. How do you come down from a dual meet like this? What do you do next to make sure you make your national championship push? Learn, right? It's all learning. Yeah, um, like I always tell the kids, uh, you either win, you're winning, or you're learning. Um, you only lose if you, you fail to learn, and. Um, and continue to improve uh, daily, you know, doing the little things right. And, you know, um, it's just one duel. And, um, and uh, it, it doesn't gonna dictate what is going to happen at the end um, um, if we do the little things right and, and use it as a learning experience um, because that's where the real prize is at. It's kind of hot in here. Would it have felt yeah. good to go to a cold plunge right afterward and, and get into a dunk tank? That might have felt good to Man, yeah, definitely, cool down. Uh, definitely right at the end there, yeah, for sure. Would have, for me, I know it would have felt good. Um, but, you know, that's the way it goes. Hey, thanks for the time. All the best. Thank you very much for all the stuff you do. Thanks, Kyle.